Hi, boys and girls. Here we go. Here we go again. Well, it's not going to be for as long. But I didn't want you to think, because we didn't have church, that you don't need to think about God, and you don't need to think about His Word, and you don't even need to think about anything about anything that you learn at church because you do look at this funny thing that mr carl has me wear that's so you can hear me and so i want you to listen very carefully because i have a story that i was thinking about and i thought that i would tell you this story happened a long long time ago and it happened when school started so i thought that's a great story to tell the kids. It happened at this school. Well, this is kind of a picture of it. I don't know if it's real. But it's the Oak Ridge School. And it was a school way back out in the country. And it had one big room. Not different classrooms, just one big room. And each class, age and grade, sat in a line. So they all learned in the same room and the older children who knew more learned, taught the younger children to boy, learn their ABCs and their math and everything. So it was the Oak Ridge School and it was the first day of school. Well, all the kids were there playing. You know, it was before school. So they got there early. They were so excited. They were all there playing. They were catching up with their friends. They were telling them all the fun things they did that summer. And they were all there. Big Jim was there. He was the biggest, strongest guy in the whole school. And everybody listened to him. That's Big Jim. And all the way down to little Johnny. He was there too. And he was so excited. He was going to learn to read. And he's been wanting to learn to read for a long, long time. Well, now just think that you're in that schoolyard with those kids. And all of a sudden comes along a horse. This story happened way before everybody had a car. And so, <gasps> all the kids stopped and they looked up and they saw a man on this kind of slow galloping, trotting, I should say, horse. And the kids all looked to Big Jim and they said, who is it? They decided that must be the teacher, the new teacher. And Big Jim said, Don't worry, we'll be rid of him in no time. You see, they would misbehave and carry on and do all sorts of things. And the teachers didn't even want to stay very long to teach the class. So up comes the teacher, comes right up to the school, comes right up to the kids, and says, Hi there, fellas. How are you today? And so they all, they all just said hi, and got off his horse, and in the schoolhouse he went. Well, all of a sudden, they heard the school bell ring, and you know what that meant? Get inside, line up, and get in. There's the bell. So they all lined up and went in and sat down. Big Jim sat in the back with all of his pals around him. And that's the way he thought. Wonder what's going to happen. And the teacher started out with really something very surprising to those students. He said, boys and girls, I'd like you to all stand because we want to have a good year and we're going to start this year with prayer. And why it happened so fast, everybody stood up and he said, now bow your heads and close your eyes. So they did. 
and that teacher prayed and he said God please give us a good year God help us to learn all the things we need to learn about the ABC's about reading about math and help us to learn about the Savior and he prayed that God would give him a chance to talk to those students about the Savior so they all sat down after he said amen they all sat down and the teacher said something else really surprising to them he said now we're going to have a good year but a good year begins with a good beginning and so I want all of us in order to have a good year you kids are going to make the rules well they never heard of any such thing and this had them pretty interested because I mean they could make their own rules so the teacher said I'm just gonna write them on the board but we need to have things we can't do things that need to be punished laws and we need to have something as a punishment or a consequence for the breaking of those laws so he got his chalk and he was going to write on the board and he said to the students okay come up with something and they were a little afraid to say something but all of a sudden somebody said no cheating and the teacher said well now that's a great rule what should happen to somebody who cheats and they said well four lashes in those days they were actually allowed to whip the kids and so four lashes for cheating well somebody else said no swearing and that should be boy that's pretty bad let's have five lashes for swearing and then someone else said no lying boy that's a bad one we're gonna go eight lashes for that and on and on they went and somebody said no stealing oh you're right we don't want anyone to steal what's ours is ours and you can't trust people who steal that's going to be 10 lashes And they left that up on the board the teacher left it because he didn't know if he could remember all of it and he, he thought I'm gonna leave it there so we know exactly if one of those laws get broken well things went along really really well for a couple weeks but one day the teacher came to class and he said students everyone put your papers down I have some bad news someone was stealing I know who did it and I'm going to give them the chance to say that they did it before I call out their name they stole Big Jim's lunch and so the teacher said would anyone like to say that they were the ones that did it well little Johnny up in the front row stood up and he was just this skinny little boy and he said teacher I did it I stole big Jim's lunch and he said we didn't have anything for breakfast and I was pretty hungry and I saw Big Jim's big lunch there and I thought I'm just gonna sniff it and so I opened the bag and I oh 
God, it smelled so good. And I thought, well, there's a lot in there. Big Jim won't miss it. I'll just take a bite. Well, before I knew it, that bite was so good, I took another one and another one and... And his lunch was all gone. And I stole it. Big Jim, I'm sorry. And so the teacher said, well, what's the penalty? Uh-oh, 10 lashes. And Big Jim jumped up and he said, it's okay, I forgive him. I, it's all right. They all knew that Johnny was very poor and sometimes he came to school without lunch and well they just they just had way more than he did and Big Jim said it's all right and the teacher said but it's not all right because we made the rule and it's wonderful that you forgive him but somebody has to pay because the rule was broken and Johnny came up front he wasn't far and when they got lashes on their back they took their coat off he was so poor he didn't even have a shirt and the teacher was ready to whip his back ten lashes the teacher didn't even want to do it but that was the rule and he got went and put the whip back and Big Jim jumped up and he said, I'll take his whipping. Can I do it? And the teacher thought, well, nobody said who had to get the 10 lashes. So class, what do you think? And they all said, if Big Jim's willing, we're going to let him do it. So Big Jim came up. And he got 10 whippings on his back. Took his shirt off and everything. Got 10 whippings on his back. And little Johnny was just crying. Matter of fact, all the kids in the class were crying. And little Johnny said, I love you, Big Jim. You're my hero. You're not the bully. You're my hero. I never heard of anybody doing anything like that. And you know what the teacher said? I brought my copy of God's Word just for this time. Because somebody did do that. And God's Word so clearly tells us who. That God's Son, Jesus, gave his life for everyone who sinned. And God's word says the wages of sin is death. And Jesus didn't just get a whipping, though he did get a whipping, but he died on the cross. He was made sin for us. Because everybody was born a sinner. Everybody back in those days. Everybody in these days. Every one of you. Even me. All of us were born sinners. And God's word says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. When Jesus died on that cross, he died for sinners like you and like me. And all you have to do is believe in Jesus, pray to God, and trust him. And better than Big Jim taking little Johnny's whipping is Jesus taking our place on the cross and giving us eternal life. He died in my place and in your place. What will you do with Jesus? Have you prayed? Have you trusted him? Have you believed that he died for you? If not, I want you to think about that right now. 
and I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to draw a picture of a cross and while you are I want you to think about Jesus who died on that cross for your sins and that you need to trust him to become one of his children and to spend forever and ever and ever with him so think about that we'll be together next Sunday and you'll hear more stuff from God's Word I love you guys see you then bye alrighty